Hello, and welcome to Inventive. In this video, we will cover the basics of creating a pass bucket. Not all organizations choose to use pass buckets. Perhaps you are only offering individual standalone tickets to your event. If that's the case, you likely won't be needing pass buckets. On the other hand, if you'll be offering passes, badges, or discounted bundles of tickets to your audience members, pass buckets are for you. You will create a pass bucket for each type of pass or badge available. For example, if your organization sells all access, filmmaker, and sponsor passes, you would create three unique pass buckets, one for each type. To create a new pass bucket, click Pass Buckets on the left side menu. Then click the Create New Pass Bucket button. First, you will name the pass bucket. For example, All Access Pass. Add a price to reflect how much it will cost. Leave it blank if the pass is free. There are a number of other important settings in the general section of the Pass Bucket Editor, which are explained in the Guide to Creating Pass Buckets linked in this video's description box. Click Save Changes after naming your pass and adding a price. Then navigate over to the Pass Rules tab on the right. This section is extremely important. You must create at least one pass rule in order for this pass to have any sort of benefits for these pass holders. Let's make an all access pass, which means that people who have this pass will be able to access tickets to all screenings and events in this event bucket at no extra cost. Click Add New Rule, and the pass rule settings appear. Under Type, leave ticket order selected. This means that the discount rules we create later will apply to ticket purchases. Under Target, select Apply to All Ticket Buckets. Again, because we're creating an All Access Pass, so we want pass holders to receive a discount when buying tickets to all events. Under Results, and this is important, as this is where you create the discount, which is perhaps the most important benefit of having a pass, write either a percentage or dollar amount off. Because we're creating an All Access Pass, the result will be 100% off. Click Save. Looking at this pass rule we created one more time, because we specified a result 100% off and targeted all ticket buckets, we successfully created an all access pass. With this pass, you get audience members free access to tickets for everything in this event bucket. A commonly used setting is selecting only allow one ticket per event per pass. This eliminates the possibility of someone using their pass to get a large number of tickets to a single screening or event. You can create multiple pass rules if needed by clicking Add New Rule. As always, we're including links to written resources that go into way more detail about everything you do with pass rules in this video's description box. There are two other sections on the Pass Bucket Settings page, Supplementary Data and Messages. These sections are optional but can be used to great effect. Use the Supplementary Data tab to collect data from pass holders beyond their names and email addresses which are collected automatically. For example, click Add New Field to create a field for pass holders to add their mailing addresses at checkout. Field types are customizable, including the option to make a field required or not. Use the Messages tab to configure a number of messages presented to your pass holders, including email confirmation messages and the option to create a Terms of Use waiver. We often see organizations use the waiver message to outline terms and conditions such as pass is not transferable or pass holders must arrive 20 minutes before showtime in order to be guaranteed a seat in the theater. Learn much more about the settings mentioned as well as settings we didn't go over by reading the Help Center resources linked in this video's description box. Visit our Help Center at help.eventive.org to learn even more.